Discerning Hearts presents How to Pray, a Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life by David Torkington. In this chapter, David reflects on true humility. When you stop falling, you are in heaven, but when you stop getting up, you are in hell. Peter Calvey, Hermit. Only Our Lady was conceived without sin. That means that the rest of us were not. That's why we are continually falling, both inside and outside of prayer, whether we like it or not. And that includes the saints, too. Now, the difference between them and us is not that they did not fall and we do, but that they learned how to use their inevitable failures to their best advantage. St. Paul was the first to pen what is in fact the great secret of the spiritual life. It is this, that God's power works most perfectly in human weakness, gradually transforming it. That's why no one can progress in the spiritual life without the humility to know their weakness and their need of the only one who can help them. What further distinguishes us from the saints is the speed with which they turn for help. We keep procrastinating because pride prevents us from accepting our failures, and so valuable time is wasted. In fact, the greater the pride, the greater the length of time it takes before a person finally gets enough humility to seek the forgiveness that they need and the grace to begin again. Like St. Peter the saints immediately turn back to God the very moment, the very second they realized that they had failed him. They did this repeatedly without the endless delays that stymie the spiritual growth of the rest of us. Because when you stop falling, you are in heaven. But when you stop getting up, you're in hell. Whether in or out of prayer, The measure of spiritual advancement can always be determined by the speed with which we turn back to God from the distractions, the temptations, or the sins that try to turn us away from Him. However, what all the saints discovered was that this speed could only be maintained with help and strength from God. That is why, though they may have differed from one another in everything else, they were one in their daily commitment to prayer. They knew without a shadow of a doubt that without it, they had no power to do anything of any real worth or value, let alone advance in the spiritual life. That is why each of them, in different ways, all echo the words of St. Teresa of Avila when she said, There is only one way to perfection, and that is to pray. And if anyone points in another direction, then they are deceiving you. You've been listening to David Torkington and How to Pray, a Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life. For more episodes in this series, visit DiscerningHearts.com or you can find it in our free Discerning Hearts app or on many other streaming platforms.